starting a job today. <clears throat> it is actually another redo. Now this job was done back in 1997 by one of the most premier companies in this industry. There are issues with the system. They're saying it's not covered under warranty. The system that has been installed is called a pressure relief system. This crack is caused by lateral pressure. The lateral pressure which is caused by water that surrounds a foundation, the weight of that water, and the mud. It easily just push this wall in. Once you get any kind of hairline horizontal crack, that crack just grows until the eventual result is complete foundation failure. There was a sealant put on here. When the system was installed, they had sealed this, so the crack was closed. And since the system was installed, the lateral pressure has continued, and so the wall is continuing to come in. I don't know whether the job was, was done properly or improperly. The fact that this is continuing to happen says to me that there's something wrong, because a pressure relief system is supposed to relieve this kind of pressure. We will take this job apart, and I'll go through anything that I might find should have been done or wasn't done. Whenever I do an estimate, I will specifically state the trench needs to be 10 inches beyond the footer. also needs to be dug to the bottom of the footer. The width of this trench is telling me that it may not have been done properly. We're going to open this up. We're going to see what it looks like and um, see what we can find. Okay? Sheetrock wall, we're cutting the sheetrock out two feet. This is a line, we're going to cut it, we're going to take out the studs and see what's behind there. So when they did this job, they didn't take these walls out. Now you can see here, uh, the mirror drain stops. It stops here. There's a bathroom here. They installed the system in front of the bathroom. That's the end result of not putting the system against the outer walls. So I'm old. I'm not saying anything. Okay. We haven't even gotten into this job and I can see that they used a six inch piece of mirror drain. They've got, what, two inches on the bottom and four inches up. For all intended purposes, it looks like the job was done properly, but this is not. Let's continue to take some more of this stuff out. I can't say enough how important weep holes are, and I always have. You need to drill out every cell of every block, plus the mortar joints. There's no weep hole on the motor joint. They missed this one. They missed this one. When you're talking about a pressure relief system, every weep hole has to be drilled, especially when you've got a wall that's moving. I want to tell me the name of the company that did this job, and I know that particular company does not use PVC pipe. Unless, of course, one of their subcontractors decided that he was going to use what he wants to use. This trench is maybe five inches beyond the footer. This trench should be ten inches beyond the footer, and this PVC pipe has no business being in that hole. This is the type of piping that was installed. This is the type of pipe that the company who did this job told the customer they were getting. This is 4 inch ADS pipe. This is what needs to go in. 3 inch PVC cannot handle the volume of water when you have a situation like this. A subcontractor will cut corners by using inferior products or components and on this particular job you have roughly 140 lineal feet. This trench is not wide enough. That means that this trench should really be out here which is double the amount of work. The subcontractor wants to cut corners and get the job done in half the time, well, he just does half the work, gets himself some 3-inch PVC pipe or even 3-inch ADS, and puts a very narrow trench in. He dummies his mirror drain, which makes it look like you're getting what you paid for when you're not. Cutting corners, cutting corners, 
cutting corners. One of my issues with this industry is <clears throat> people are told one thing, then they, they get something uh, less than the job is just not done properly. This is realistically a lawsuit, but I don't think the customer wants to spend the ten or fifteen thousand dollars going after these guys. Uh, this is what's called fibrous filter paper. See the mud, the dirt build up in it? It's clogging the filter. It's not allowing the water to get through. For anyone who owns an automobile, your oil filter, gas filter, air filter, they get clogged. Those filters have to be changed out. You can't come in and break up the concrete to change out uh, a filter in one of these systems when it gets clogged. This is where they've stopped the pipe right here. And this is where they've stopped the pipe over here. How can this possibly be a continuous system? Where's the water supposed to flow? The trench was deeper the way it's supposed to be. You'd be able to go underneath this and get a proper flow. Any kind of piping needs to have, have a way to get into the pump. There's no pipe. There's no pipe entering this crack from anywhere. Get that. Get down in here. See this here? That's the end of the pipe. Watch. What the hell is that? Pipe does not lead into the crop when there is water in, in the system. It can't get into the crop fast enough. The pump cannot pump it out fast enough. The water is still building up on the outside of the walls. It's not getting into the system fast enough, into the crop fast enough, and getting pumped out fast enough. It's still building up, and that's why the wall is continually being pushed in. This is the proper width of a trench. Minimum 10 inches. Spade shovel is roughly 9 inches wide. Okay? Spade shovel needs to be fit in there. A lot of guys use this shovel. That's so that they can cheat and just dig a nice little narrow trench. This is the width of the trench that was put in. Okay? It's about this wide. They didn't go wide enough. They did not go deep enough. This is where they installed their pipe. Down here is where the water is. Imagine that we've just dug out this little section and I got all of this water coming in from outside. All of this water is sitting outside pushing on this wall. Lateral pressure. This is supposed to be a pressure relief system. When you install a 3 inch pipe, PVC, not deep enough, not wide enough, it cannot do its job. Even though I'm sure the homeowner was told this is how the job is supposed to be done, this is what they got. It happens time and time again. And yet the company that did this job in 1997 will not warranty it because they say they don't have a, a, a wall warranty. Okay, fine. If they did the job properly in the first place, this will not happen. Now let's get this job done. Okay, guys.